What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel is something I'm excited about. Uh, you can tell you're getting old when you're excited about insoles. So I got some new insoles for my boots a couple months ago. Um, I vetted these things and I'm about to give you my honest down and dirty review on them. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to it. So uh, I have been wearing my Grid Pro or my Timberland Pro Gridworks uh, boots for a couple years now, and the insoles were getting so bad that they basically had cracked apart, and my feet were going down through them. So it was time for new insoles for sure. Um, I had considered ordering the Timberland Pro uh, inserts that came in them and just rock, rock the same insoles that I had before, but I figure I'd vet a new product and see how I liked it. In comes the Duluth Trading Pop Flight insoles. So these bad boys come in at $25. Uh, that's how much I bought them for. Uh, I will warn you, they're a little weird. They have a, a, a kind of weird texture to them. Sorry, I already took it out of the boot, but um, they have a weird texture to them. The, pop flights, I guess, uh, little memory foam uh, bubbles. Uh, they, they feel kind of weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Um, they do feel amazing. So these have been pretty darn good for $25. Um, I don't think, I've even done Dr. Scholl's and spent 60 to 70 bucks um, to get them uh, custom tuned for your feet and they just suck. Uh, these $25 ones are really, really nice. Uh, they're kind of thin, so it has changed the profile in which uh, it fits on my foot. So my boot did feel a little loose. I had to tighten up the tighten up the laces. But nonetheless, these things are pretty awesome. Um, I've been wearing them for about three months now, and am a hundred percent very satisfied with them. For twenty five bucks, you can't go wrong with these. Uh, I opted for these over their twenty dollar version, uh, just because I felt like ah, just upgrade five bucks and see what it gets me. Uh, maybe I'll do a comparison video down the road, um, but this is one of those things where you get old and you get excited about some insoles. So, um, nonetheless, these things are pretty sweet. I would highly recommend them. Uh, uh, I like Duluth Trading. They're a great company, and these things have not disappointed. I'm sure they might be white-labeled. Um, somebody from Duluth can get on the video and tell me if they're white-labeled or not. Uh, meaning that they uh, are made by somebody else and they're just uh, stamped with Duluth on them uh, when they're made. These are made in China, if that matters to you, really doesn't to me. Um, the low density, high expansion foam material reduces fatigue for comfort throughout the longest days. So I definitely feel a lot, a lot of comfort, a lot of cushion with these, regardless of how soft or uh, how thin they are, I feel a lot of cushion with these. Um, it's kind of weird. It, it works. Whatever it is, it works. Um, and yeah, I flat out like them. So for three, uh, three month update, these things are pretty awesome. Uh, for 25 bucks, I'd go for it. Uh, if you found the video because you're a subscriber or you found it because you're searching the internet in search of a good insole, then uh, so be it. Here it is. I would highly recommend these for 25 bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, Hey, you might not like them. I, I like them. Uh, I'm definitely going to maybe get them possibly for other sets of boots. Uh, maybe I'll try their $20 version. I don't know. But for the most part, thumbs up, two thumbs up. Um, that's the end of my down and dirty review. I mean, I don't know how much you can talk about insoles and some boots, but um, those are pretty darn good. So as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Those who, of you who have clicked subscribe already, I appreciate you being around the channel and loyal to me, and we'll see you guys in the next video.